it is, it's like, but right. right. I don't know, I think I like that better than all. Well, it's so nice. Who's got the strawberry The crystals. When you think that crystal is giving you everything you need, kneel down on Mother Earth. You hold up that crystal in your left hand and you say thank you from the bottom of your heart and you kneel down and don't bury it. You can put it in water, in the lake, in the pond, but don't bury it because there's still a lot of power left for somebody else in that crystal. Mm -hmm. Okay? They're not to be hidden. Gratitude. That's what it's all about. Before we do the songs, I've got to do one, one more thing. sevens. There's the seven sacred fires. It's a prophecy that some of you have probably already guessed. I am not Native American, but the sacred sevens prophecy prophesizes that the white man would join his red brothers and sisters and join in their spiritual culture. That is the seventh sacred fire. That is the prophecy leading up to the white man joining his red brothers and sisters. But it's about those four directions. It's not just the red, it's the black, the white, and the yellow. The people of all the four directions. Are we keeping you up? <laughs> you caught it. Just getting active. Okay. <laughs> when you yawn, I'm going to yawn. The Hopi prophecy. The rainbow warriors. The seven colors of the rainbow. The Hopi prophecy also calls that the white man would join his red brothers and sisters. Unity and peace. October 28th was where I met Cookie, was supposed to be the actual end to the Mayan calendar. It was the hoo-ha day. Was it, is that how you pronounce it? Hoo-ha? Hoo-ha day. I had no idea October 28th was hoo-ha day, the actual end of the Mayan calendar. But for some reason, I'm not very organized. I really do need a secretary. Mm -hmm. I realized four days before I had three ceremonies October 28th. Why was that? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you about the first ceremony. It was in Northern Ontario. And this is really, really beautiful. Picture this. I spent the morning with a hundred grade 11 Catholic high school students for <coughs> ceremonies as part of their religion class. Is that cool or is that cool? Where are we headed? We have hope. Unity. We have hope. White and red and black and yellow. We have hope. The other ceremony was in Mississauga. That's in Canada, by the way. Yeah. And then I ended up down on Lake Ontario with Cookie. Here we 
we're looking for UFOs. <laughs> Hoo ha day. But I tell you what, not too many people know about Hoo ha day. December 21st is what the majority of people think is Hoo ha day, the end of the Mayan calendar. I have an eight year old son. I overheard him talking to his stepsister one day about the end of the world, and I immediately said, we have to focus on this. Our children need not be scared of hoo-ha day. It is the best time to be alive. It is the time when we move on to an era of unity, love, and peace, and energy, and it starts with people like us. It starts now. I'm going to ask a question. How many of you are light workers? A lot of people are light workers. Now, everybody who does not consider themselves a light worker, put up their hand. Everybody put up their hand. Everybody, please put up your hand. A light worker is that which sends out love to the planet, sends out their energy to the planet. We, all of us, are light workers. All that us who realize the need to do is say, you're a light worker. You're a light worker. You send out your love. You're a light worker. You're a light worker. You're a light worker. We're born with it. What are we born with? We're born magical. We're born enchanted. What takes it away from us? Life. What can bring it back? Life. You. Just tell people. Talk about it. Talk about it at work. Show it. Show the love of work. We're all on a spiritual path. I'm about to read a poem. We could call it a prayer. I think poems are prayers. And it's one that I wrote. And we were in the book of, when I say we, because I try not to say I or my. We means spirit and I sat down 120 times and came up with some poems. I and my, oh I hate those words, don't you hate those words? I and my, it's us. The seven sacred laws, the seven grandfathers. If you ever wonder how to live life, if you can follow these laws, and they're tough laws to follow, believe me. You've got it if you can follow these seven laws. So let me read the seven laws. I am weak, judgmental. I am the personification of the frailty of this human mind and body attached to this spirit and attached to this soul. Teach me to love. That being I must love myself. Because before I love myself, I am unable to love others. To love is to know the true meaning of spirituality. <coughs> Teach me respect. Not only for my brothers and sisters, but the wind I feel, the earth that nurtures, and the water that sustains all life, and all the elements in the circle of life. Teach me to respect that I may be respected. Teach me courage that I may overcome the fears that prevent me from living my true spirit. The courage to be wrong and the courage to admit I am wrong. The courage to face life and all its tragedies and hardships and still forgive. <coughs> Teach me to be honest, that I may keep my promises to you, and my brothers and sisters, and myself. Teach me to never try to be someone else, and live true to my spirit, and accept who I am, 
the way that you made me. <coughs> I ask you teach me that which can't be taught. Wisdom can only come from experience, reflection, and learning from our mistakes. Teach me to be careful in parting wisdom, that it be for the good of everything in the circle of life. Teach me humility, that which means all beings are equal, is to capture the spirit of humility in a circle. Teach me humility that I consider my brothers and sisters before I consider myself. Teach me truth, that being and knowing and understanding these seven sacred laws is given by you, the seven grandfathers. Love, respect, bravery, honesty, wisdom, humility, and truth. To follow these laws is to no longer be the personification of the frailty of this human mind and body attached to this spirit and attached to this soul. Seven grandfathers. What, no applause? <laughs> Of our space. That a 
allows spirit from the ancestors. It makes it easy. It facilitates them coming through. That's why the drumming started. That's why sound is used. Anyway, to get to the Psalms, these are the seven Psalms. Go figure seven, right? <laughs> the seven Psalms of the Nalo Eagle Clan from the States. These Psalms are gift to all humankind from the Nalo Eagle Clan and the spiritual keepers of the Psalms. And what that means is these songs have been passed down from generation to generation for 4,000 years. These songs are magical. They will touch you. They will bless you. They will heal you. They come from the Spirit. 4,000 years old. Have you ever sang a 4,000 year old song before? I'm not suggesting you're that old, but... <laughs>
finish on the same beat? <laughs> Why do we finish on the same beat? Unity. On the same beat. This is the circle. Brothers and sisters, finishing on that same beat. Oh, that was hard. <laughs> of your existence.
later when it was strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> Please, can somebody come back to us tonight? <laughs> All of you? <laughs> Celebration Heart Song. I think what I'll do is I'll do the chants first before we start the program. Oh, you're the loudest I've experienced. Okay, ready? Celebration Heart Song. Hey, hey, chosen 4,000 years ago it changed. As we discussed, it is time for man and woman to stand beside each other and help lead us back to salvation. <coughs> Realize your power. <coughs> Realize this man comes forward to stand beside you. The road of hope. 
and I'm sure I speak for my gender, who are here in great numbers tonight. We apologize. We apologize for all the wrongs we have done to you over the last 4,000 years. And we ask for your forgiveness. Standing side by side, man and woman. So I'll go through the lyrics and you guys are pretty quick. <laughs>
the inner child. Oh, I sure do. <laughs> okay. Ready? Mm. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Are you ready? Am I ready? Am 
going to drink some vodka, I'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs>
many songs, a hundred and some odd times. <laughs> oh, I got it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good job. 